Yeah, still Friday, 15th of September. I'm at my final height on this west corner. I still gotta adjust. I think my string's being caught by something. But there's how the wall looks. You all can look down at, there's one spot that's kind of bowed in just a smidge. Don't care. When I put on the cap rock, you'll never see that. Uh, hit a real good stopping point. I'm down to my last skid of 100 of these landscape rock. So, real good spot to stop. I don't have hardly any adhesive squeezing outside. I see one little spot there and that's all I see. That is a lot of landscape rock. See how many tubes of adhesive I went through. It's a bunch. I am loving that battery operated caulking gun. You ain't get one if you got to do more than 10 tubes of anything get you one variable speed too so you can do a real fine bead i forgot to mention i'm laying two beads about uh 16 no excuse me 7 16 of an inch the full length of the block i set one edge of the block then let it fall onto the adhesive from about a 30 degree angle twist and set and I pulled one up to see what kind of coverage I'm getting. And I'm getting 100% coverage with the adhesive on the glue surface. So, one of the places I saw where they fell on YouTube, they were doing four or five, six little dabs of the adhesive. That adhesive ain't cheap. Now, I know why they did it. But four or five, six little dabs and then the blocks fall apart. So you need a real good coverage with that adhesive for it to bond. And for me, the proof is gonna be as the wall does not fail, obviously. So, fingers crossed. The courses I did uh, yesterday, I checked the adhesive bond this morning before I got started and I couldn't pry them apart but I also didn't use a four foot crowbar. So it seemed pretty stout bond to me. But anyway, I made a really, really good stopping point. I dragged my skid out and at least sweep all the stuff into a pile. I might put it in the trash. Then I gotta start bagging up all my trash take home. And uh, yeah, this was with that powered caulking gun. Now, of course, it's right at 82 degrees. It's not in the 90s, so I'm able to work a little longer and faster. But it would take me three and a half hours to lay 24 block. And today I did better than 100 block in four and a half hours. And I'm going to chalk it up to that power caulking gun. That thing's the bomb now. Anyway, that's all for this one. Thank you.